Hi everyone, welcome to another beer review. And today, been a long time since I've had something from Brew by Numbers, but this of course is number five, which is the always their IPA. And this is the cold IPA version. So the cold IPA is fermented at low temperatures using our house lager yeast combined with a grist of pilsner malt, rice and maize to give a crisp, clean base to allow mosaic, citra and talus hops to shine through with bright notes of citrus and pine. So clocking in at 5.8% 5, 5 ABV, just about to make myself some pizza. As much of a pizza snob as I am, this is a godsend. And you can turn like shitty, like cheap pizza base into something really nice and magical. Anyway, so yeah, just got in from work. Uh, Going to be heading to Halifax tomorrow with Mersey Beers and meeting up with Hop Scene. And uh, yeah, hopefully my trip back is not going to be an utter wank. Um, as long as I can get back into Wigan and get the bus home, I'm not bothered. Anyway, so I might see if I can get some videos by the time. Well, obviously, if I'm going tomorrow, this isn't being uploaded straight away, is it? So you'll see if I've done a video. Who knows? We shall see. So, yeah, looking forward to trying this. Although I've not really had too much exposure to cold IPAs. So we'll see what this is like. From that description, I'm guessing it's supposed to be more like a lighter sort of take on an IPA. Maybe a little bit more crisp, that sort of thing. Um, I'm just surmising, of course, and uh, beer in the glass then, and it looks like an old school, good old fashioned clear IPA. Golden, slightly amber, and uh, my reflection in the glass, well, it's not even that much of a detraction, is it really? Detraction's not a proper word. Anyway, looking very nice, a little bit west coasty. One finger's worth for a white foamy head. Let's see what we get on the nose. It's got that slight danky pine, almost like musky character to it. Pick this up from Tesco's. Not much else, really. A little bit of a citrus edge, just like citrus, nothing specific. Probably leaning more towards like a lemon concentrate, almost. But it just smells really nice and old school. You get that slight maltiness coming through as well. Doesn't smell too bad. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. And yeah, it's it's really nice, crisp, light bodied. <coughs> kind of has like the, the body of a lager, as you would expect, really, from that description. I'm not sure if that's like the fundamentals of what a cold IPA is. It's not like really massively big on flavour um, or anything like that, but it's one of those beers that's just simple and very satisfying to drink. Almost reminds me a little bit of a, an IPL, maybe. And I've not had an IPL for ages because I usually sort of like don't really like hoppy lagers too much because it just completely moves away from what you want from a lager and then said it countless times a lot of them come across as like really weak IPAs and pales but this got just the right amount of hoppiness to it a little bit resiny oily and bitter on the back end but yeah really nice and well rounded just like, I know when you usually use the word inoffensive, you're not, like, really praising nor taking away from the beer. But it's just that simple, rounded, 
easy going sort of um, IPA. We've all got friends and family members who, you know, aren't as into this as we are, but they always like try something or you'll force your beer onto someone. Um, and I think this would be a really good, because a lot of the reaction when you give like someone who's a lager drinker, this is from personal experience, when you give them a really hoppy beer, they sort of wince when you drink it. Whereas this, you are getting that like citrus bite to it. There is a gentle hoppiness, mixture of like herbal, grassy lager hop notes with a little bit of a citrusy, slightly piney um, sort of flavour too. Really nice crisp light body, but has enough heft in there. Yeah, uh, there was a part of me that was like, mm, am I going to really enjoy this? Because just the cold IPA thing, it's like the whole Brute IPA, which um, for some reason breweries still brew Brute IPAs. Um, but then again, people really enjoy Brute IPAs, don't they? So fair enough. You like what you like. I'm not one of those people. I make jokes about, you know, so I'm like, oh, I bet Jimmy Savile would like that sort of beer. But, you know, it's it's all in jest. And I'm sure there's beers that I would go on and on and on and on and on and on about and people go, what the fuck are you talking about? It's it's all right or it's crap. And that's the beauty. We've all got our own minds. We've all got our own tastes. We pick up on stuff that others won't and others will pick up on stuff that we won't. And that's the beauty of it. But yeah, I could happily, happily drink that again is it like a quintessential example of what a cold ipa is i don't know because i've not really had too many i really need to get this sorted because if this is getting wet and when i'm eating i'm sometimes chewing on my own hair um you can make so many inappropriate jokes but i won't because i'm better than that i'm not really but yeah brew by numbers number five the cold ipa version very nice. The, the other one that they had in my Tesco's was one that I've had before. And I thought, Do you know what, I'll give it a try. I was a bit gutted that there was no heathen in stock. Because I probably would have just ended up, because, you know, four for free with your Tesco club card. Big brother, basically, let's be honest. But yeah, very happy with my selection, actually. Um, this, which I did a review on, very impressed. Uh, this I just casually drank, so I'll have to get it again and do a review. Brewdog making a nice hoppy beer. And then that which I've had before, just because it rounded off four beers. And all three of them went down very satisfying. And this one went very, very sa down satisfying as well. That's not proper English, but we don't care. Anyway, so yeah, if you've tried this, then let me know your favourite. Uh, let me know what you think of it. What you, What's your favourite? Number five, which is obviously their IPA. Um, what's your favourite brew by numbers beers? Blah, 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 blah. And I think this is the first time in a while I've done a supermarket beer and not gone on a massive tangent about supermarket beers first buying from you know craft beer bottle shops and stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. Links in the description. And uh, I shall hopefully see you later. And the way I look now, I'll be on a street corner uh, near you soon not in that context um, I haven't got to that point in my life yet um, contemplating taking foot pictures and putting them on OnlyFans but that's about it anyway cheers for watching you all take care stay safe I've got quite nice feet I've got really nice legs so maybe I'll just do an OnlyFans where I'm clothed legs even though I am overweight and I still wear skinny jeans. And I'm approaching 40 years old. So, you know, I think I've had this midlife crisis for about 10 years now. Anyway, cheers for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I shall see you later. Stop pointing, it's really aggressive.